Hey guys, H Maxis here, and since we now have official pictures of pretty much all of the LEGO Ninjago movie sets, I decided we should do a set analysis. Let's go ahead and start off with the Destiny's Bounty. Destiny's Bounty is easily, in my opinion, the best set of the wave here that we have revealed thus far. Now, a lot of you probably already know by now that I did reveal pretty much all of these pictures, and along with the website that I actually found them on, they have set descriptions. So, I can tell you right away that this set actually has a lot of, sort of like, callbacks to traditional Ninjago. This set includes an anachondri skull helmet, a letter to Misako, which is interesting since we haven't heard anything about Misako, but that's actually a callback to the show. It comes with vermilion armor, two collectible cards, Garmadon skeleton helmet, a blackstone warrior sword, sky pirate skull handle, and an arrow blade, and gold arrow blade, which are all little callbacks to Ninjago's previous waves, which is pretty nice to see here. The set, of course, does have those good old play features, in this case being three modular levels, which you can see on these pictures here. You can see how the top deck sort of splits apart into different segments, which are supposed to be Wu's dojo and the mid deck slash hall. The set has two anchors which you can just wind up using the little uh, wheel section over there in the middle which you can see here. And it has a bunch of just good old detailing on the side. It has the two dragon heads which both look really well built. It's interesting to see them using actually two dragon heads compared to uh, the traditional one dragon head which we've seen on the Destiny's Bounty but I think it actually works pretty well here. It doesn't have any flying mode based off the set description which is kind of unfortunate because it would be cool to see it fly like it has in you know most of the Destiny's Bounties, and by most I mean all of the Destiny's Bounties before have had that function to be able to fly. This one unfortunately does not, it only floats. The set comes with seven minifigures being Wu, Kai, Lloyd, Zane, Nia, Jay, and Cole, and they all have their full ninja garb on. They're fully equipped with all of their weapons and they have their full sort of ninja outfits. Wu has his staff, Kai has two katanas, Lloyd has his sword with the little tassel on the bottom, Zane has his bow and arrow, Nia has her spear, and Jay has the spiked flail, and of course Cole has his hammer. It also comes with accessories, which include three books, a broom, shovel, a pig's telescope, and a handheld telescope, because two telescopes are, you know, just the best. It has the two fishing rods, which are on the side there, so you can go fishing. And then it has all of the whole gardening stuff going on there. In addition, the set also comes with a map of Ninjago, which is kind of cool. It'll be interesting to see how that print works. And there's also a sextant. And the last things to note here is that in the hall is that there is a bathroom and Wu's bedroom. And that the set comes with a laser pointer, which in this case they say is indeed the ultimate weapon. And that's it for my analysis on the LEGO Ninjago movie Destiny's Bounty. Now let me know what format you guys want me to do this in. In this case I only did one set in this video mainly because I was thinking that some people just instead of trying to like watch one giant video of all of them would rather just see one specific set. So I figured if I made one video for each set then it would be easier to find it that way. But if you want it to be uh, in like one giant video then I could do that too. Just let me know in the comments. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.